Thundercats are on the move, Thundercats are loose. Feel the magic, hear the roar, Thundercats are loose. You know, it would have been very easy on 65 half hours to go buy a library of music. But, uh, of course, the Rankin Best style was never to take the easy way out. And they were used to recording full orchestras uh, for all of their productions. Jules had decided that I was going to do the score. It sort of was a, uh, an ongoing uh, relationship that started with me doing, playing song demos for them. A lot of his, his career was in the jingle business. He was very well known as a jingle uh, composer. And so he was quick, New York quick. When I got the, the assignment, I looked at the lyrics and I wrote essentially what was a song to those lyrics. It had to have energy, it had to be recognizable. Within three weeks, he came back with a piano bass drums and a main title song that just blew Jules and I away. They had shown me pictures of the characters, and they gave me a scenario of each character has its own theme, and each each uh, event has its own theme and everything, and I agreed with that. I thought that's the way this kind of show should be done also. Bernie would add that edge to the music that, that nobody else at the time was doing. It was a great job from the point of view that I had really uh, tremendous freedom to write the kind of music I wanted to write. We recorded all of the orchestra here in New York, and you know, the New York musicians just, they die for Bernie. They do anything to work with him. I had a great electric guitar player, Craig Snyder. He was uh, really into rock deals and, and a lot of solos. I mean, these, these guys that were playing in the studios, they were very versatile and were able to do a lot of different things. That sound! We did have a synthesizer guy. We had a guy who brought in a whole bunch of stuff, uh, that, and he was part of the orchestra on the day, and then we did a week of him with just doing sound effects. Bernie Hoffer is a perpetual kid. Uh, he will have this enthusiasm and this drive, and if you were tired, Bernie could walk into a studio and everyone is just on fire again. Bernie Hoffer's work on Thundercats is just, it's, it hasn't been surpassed. It was uh, like a, a couple of years after the show was on the air and I'm walking on the street and this little kid, he must have been five years old, and the kid was singing the theme to Thundercats. And it's sort of a, a revelation there that the world knows my stuff, you know? <laughs> when I'm describing Thundercats, yeah, great music. <laughs> Cats are loose. We've covered a couple of songs in the past, songs that we've loved, and to play them down as they were written and, and performed and as everyone knows them, is, it's really kind of hard to come up with something that's, that's original and that we can put our stamp on it. Thunder, 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 thunder the melody line had to be the same. It had so much energy and it's all about, you know, just these heroic characters and it needed to be fast. It couldn't be like a slow waltz or something like that. And we knew that. Thought about it. Yeah. Tried Failed. it, didn't really work. Yeah, Phil never plays the same riff twice. The tape always has to be rolling. For me, it's all about not thinking about it and just disconnecting and letting things happen. You know, like, kind of guitar stuff. The epic horn thing, too. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. like the uh, elephants marching, whatever that is. 
Phil said we have to put that in there. So I tried it with the guitar, it didn't sound quite, quite the same, so I reversed it, and it ended up being like equally as cool, but completely Better. different. So we um, uh, flew it into the flew it into the verses, played it in the verses, and it, it, all of a sudden the Thundercats thing had this sort of little ominous thing about it that we call them happy mistakes. That you're just messing around, experimenting, and all of a sudden you just turn a corner, and it's this is amazing. It went from being really cool to now this is this is rocking. You know, we're all happy, high five, and like high five. Oh no. One thread of continuity would be our harmonies. We have harmonies in that. Where there weren't in the original version, we decided to put them, uh, put them in the song. Like, Thundercats are on the move. And then there's that other part. Thundercats are loose. And then Phil would put a higher harmony on that one. Try that. Feel the magic of the key of the door. Thundercats are loose. Thunder Sounds great, that love. Stuff. Five, That's four, three, two. Thundercats are on the move. Thundercats are loose. But then when you stand like this and go, then it's rock and roll, baby. I don't think we've ever been involved in any any record we haven't made where we didn't make two or three videos for it. So it's just like another fun element, you know. It's kind of the same, except you hear the playback through the monitor, so you're not actually hearing the giant, you know, guitar sound right behind your head that is actually coming out of you know an action of you stroking the strings. So. And the drums aren't quite as loud. Green screen. That was exciting. I don't know about you. I thought it was really weird. I felt so at home. You know, because I live with cartoons. He does. Huh? Those Thundercats, you'd think seeing them on the screen that their personalities would be too overwhelming, but really they're just sweet, sweet people. They're great on TV, but in person, cool. Really much cooler. Well, it's going to attract trillions of more fans from, you know, the globe. And, and maybe from outer space, too. I've heard of Outer Space. We are very honored to uh, be representing the theme song for all the fans out there and, and the Thundercats in general. Thunder! 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 Thundercats! Ho! 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 Alright. Done. That's a wrap. Except for what about this part?